something about bankruptcy, something about capital structure. In this video, I want to break down what does the restructuring division actually do? What are the salaries like? What's the lifestyle and culture like? And also, what are the best exit opportunities within this space? If you're new to the channel, my name is Soheb. I work in M&A in Canadian Wharf. I don't want to sound like a beg, but some of my videos have started to do numbers, but still less than 10% of you have subscribed to the channel. So please hit that red button if you haven't done so already. So if you're created for IB, consulting or deal advisory positions at the big four, you would have came across the restructuring division at some point. Or you might have heard some American terms like chapter seven or chapter 11 when it comes to high profile bankruptcies. In the UK, we don't have any of that Harry Potter stuff, but what we do have is administrations and liquidations. There's a misconception that restructuring is all about helping companies that are in the absolute gar and they have nowhere else to go, which is true to some extent, but a large part of the work is helping companies before they actually get to that point as well. And the work that gets done by the restructuring division usually depends on how bad the financial difficulties of the company is. The type of companies that hire restructuring bankers can be split into three. Those who are stressed, who are still able to pay off their debt energy payments, but who might be anticipating a default of financial difficulties or cash shortages in the near future. Those who are in distress who've already missed the principal or interest payment on the loan. And now they're in a situation where they gotta come up with an action plan to figure out how to pay these loans back. And number three, those who are already in the GAR and need help going through bankruptcy and need help navigating the administration and liquidation process. And so the way that restructuring bankers and consultants help these companies can be grouped into four different ways. To modify the capital structure of the company and to renegotiate terms with the creditors so that they can come up with a plan to survive and pay back what they owe. Another option is to consider a distressed M&A or distressed sale to the market. This is when a PE fund or a strategic buyer purchases a company at a steep discount despite all the debts because they might still be able to realize some value from it. If that still doesn't work out and the company still aren't able to pay back his loans, this is usually when it goes into administration and the restructuring bankers or consultants would help navigate this process for them. Administration is a formal legal process where the company gets legal protection for usually around a year. And during that year, someone called an insolvency practitioner gets put in charge of the company. The IP is responsible for coming up with a plan to help the company repay its debts. If administration is successful, the company can continue to operate as a business. However, if this doesn't work out and the company becomes insolvent, that's when the liquidation process tends to begin. Liquidation is when the IP is in charge of selling off the remaining assets of the company and repaying the creditors where possible before the company officially ceases to exist. Well, who are the top players within the restructuring scene? Well, bulge bracket investing banks don't operate in this space, mainly due to the conflict of interest it brings with the rest of their businesses. So the top players are usually your elite boutique advisory firms, most notably PGT Partners and Huli and Loki. After that, you also find that the big four also operate within this space, where you would find restructuring and debt advisory falling under the deal advisory divisions. You also have consultants such as FDI Consulting and Alvarez and Marshall also competing within this market. It should be noted that there is a distinction between restructuring bankers and restructuring consultants. Bankers tend to focus more on the financial side of things and consultants tend to focus more on the operational side of things. And it's not uncommon to find both of these parties involved in large scale bankruptcies. In terms of salaries, it depends on the type of firm that you're working at. If you're working at an investment bank boutique such as PGT Partners or Hulihan Loki, you can expect to take 60 to 70k as a first year analyst, with bonuses from anywhere from 25% to even 100%. For the big four and consulting firms like FDI and AM, the starting graduate salary tends to be around the 30k and above mark, with bonuses not even worth mentioning to be honest. In terms of exit opportunities, because the work that you do is all debt and credit related, you do find a lot of restructuring bankers exiting into things like distressed PE funds or credit related funds. Let me know if that breakdown of restructuring was useful and let me know what else you want to see.